Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, I hope everyone is doing okay. It's starting to warm up here, so that's awesome. It's not hot. It's still kind of rainy, but it is starting to warm up. Okay, here we go. 50 reasons why some poor people are better off than other people. Poor people. Okay, when I first started doing YouTube, my idea was to tell the world how I got by on very little money. And people used to say to me, how do you do it? And so when I first started doing it, it was hard to describe, uh, really. Uh, I lived in a very cheap apartment. I think that came across. And, but, you know, you get better as you go along. So here we go. Number one thing, they know they're poor. Some poor people do, don't seem to know they're poor. Um, I used to send my son to private school and I told him, as long as you know you're poor and you know everyone else knows you're poor, we're going to be fine. And so we got treated very well. Um, we didn't try to put on errors because some of these people had a lot of money. So if you, that's the, the key thing. Okay, you can improve, but you need to know at this time you're uh, not exactly uh, even middle class. You're poor. Uh, number two, they know they can't afford things. Okay, I was watching a good uh, video feature man. KFC two-piece meal. It was two pieces of chicken, one biscuit, coleslaw, and a drink. And I think it was $7.50 or something like that. If you're poor, you cannot afford that. I, 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 used, I try to help people, you know, that are all messed up and... Um, so at the beginning of the month, you might have $200, but you need to pay your electric bill, you need to pay food, you need to buy toilet paper, and you really don't have any extra money, but it seems like, well, it's just $7.50. I can't afford that. Three, they are careful with the resources they have, like your house especially, because home repair, like your car, uh, everything. I mean, every once in a while, I wreck my stuff, but generally, today, I was scrubbing my muffin pan, you know, good, and uh, so it doesn't get all messed up, trying to make it last. They are careful with their, the resources they have. They take advantage of free resources, so if you're poor, 100%, you can... Um, you can qualify for welfare, EBT, food banks, and pantries. And you're, you go and you get the stuff. Okay, the people that I knew wouldn't go to the food pantries. I drove one around until she finally just flat out refused to go. And the other one, there's another one, and this one was recent. No, she didn't want to go either. So uh, they take advantage of, of free resources. All right, avoid spending. Okay, uh, when I was divorced, I didn't have a car, I didn't have a phone. The only thing I bought, this is when my son was in um, private school and said, someone said to me, I couldn't afford that. I go, that is because you have a house payment, you have a car payment, you have credit card payments, you live pretty good and I don't I mean I bought nothing it was very it was very unpleasant but in a way I was actually I, I wasn't poor all of my life I think that helps so you know I had decent food the house was warm enough you know okay so avoid spending Okay, like I wanted to plant my garden, so I got dirt off the mountain. I went up the street. Oh, this was awful, too. I, I dragged the dirt down so as not to pay for dirt, and it's in my backyard, and my, my plants are doing pretty well, too. Okay, um, 
take care of their stuff. I don't care if it's clothes, like, um, and then sell your stuff at the swap meet, give it to family, friends, or neighbors. So this, this week, let's see, I gave away a desk chair that I got curbside, a jacket, I gave away some food, and sometimes I give it back to the thrift store. Buy used, like this lovely sweater. Okay, usually I buy two or three sweaters, but last year, uh, for some reason, I bought about 20 uh, sweaters. I got them during the summer, and they were really cheap, like $3.50. So this coming, not this winter, that's not over, but the next winter, I don't have to buy any sweaters or coats. Buy use, get value for the things they pay for. So, okay, like me, I join the gym. I pay $1 a day. I go to the gym and get my dollar a day. Um, Let's see, um, okay, I'm saving my bottles and cans and I give them to a lady or else I put them by the dumpster and somebody uh, gets, gets them. Okay, now make homemade bread, butter, yogurt, and ice cream uh, and cream cheese. I'm gonna could make ice cream too. But mainly your dairy foods, instead of buying them, make them homemade. Then you're always going to have cream cheese, butter. Um, I found that um, I can make good butter out of whole milk from Smart and Final. Buy forever things like what? Let's see. I have some examples. This pizza pan. Uh, this little pan. Under the right circumstances will last forever. Sometimes I wreck this stuff, but... Uh, I don't know where my brass bowl is, but everything I buy, I try to get stuff that's going to last forever. I buy it once at the thrift store, and then that is it. This little pan, this is a great little pan. They have these at Smart and Final. Today I was at Smart and Final looking at the produce, but they didn't have anything I really thought I, I would need. Can uh, accept all freebies. Okay. This is one that I can forget about. The other night, the guy goes, you want a free um, hot dog? And I go, no, thank you. And I go, you forgot to accept all freebies. There's nothing to stop myself from putting my hot dog in the uh, freezer. Okay, uh, McDonald's has free fries almost every day, half price apple pies. I'm driving by there. I keep forgetting to pull in and get some, whatever it is, free hamburgers. Why buy hamburgers for $1.25 when you can get a free hamburger every single day using your app? Try to go grow food. Okay, I want to show you. Look, in just, I think, four or five days, those are my soybeans. They can't go outside. And then I want to mention this. Okay, these are the soybeans I grew in my garden last year. And they sprouted and something ate them. But see how tiny the ones I grew are? Very tasty for some bird. And I saved all of my, um, here's the soybean husks. And these are just, um, I think these are green pepper seeds I saved. I'm going to be planting those. So the idea is not to say, I can't say, I'm just going to try, okay, maybe I'm going to try one mint plant, one cherry tomato plant grown indoors. And, and if something happens and you have this habit and you harvest seeds, it's going to make all the difference. Uh, this year, I want to get some organic peas and try to sprout those discount shopping so i did discount shopping today at dollar tree and everything i went in there for they didn't have but i looked on the discount shop shopping rate rack and i got these uh ultra laundry packs and there's 10 of them for 75 cents i thought i'll wash something with those because I have a list of things I commonly run out of, and one is laundry detergent, so these could come in handy. 
I got uh, this bag of, of grocery bags for, uh, and they're all there because I counted them six for 75 cents. So that was a really good deal. I am bagging stuff up to, uh, you know, contain it all and to sell at the swap meet. I got these 17 bags for a dollar. So that was a really great thing. I put food, stuff like that in them. I got this little toothpaste. It was closed, so I figured it's okay for 75 cents. I got um, some of these uh, feminine products for a dollar. I got this uh, face cream for 25 cents. I don't know if somebody squeezed some out or what, but I use that on my arms. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much uh, what I got. So, uh, let's see, that cost me, I think it was $4.25. Uh, okay, it was $7.50 full price, but I paid $4.50 and saved $3. So, and on this is all stuff that I generally use. So that was, and even some of it that I generally run out of. And then uh, they had candy. I think these were like 60 cents. These are good. I already ate one package of these carrots, carrot jelly beans, and two packages of these sour uh, jelly beans. And so I have some left. Those are for making cookies. All right. Okay. Um. I can't read my own, oh, buy store brands. Uh, like uh, potato chips, the cheapest ones are uh, Dollar Tree. But uh, here's a good example of a cheaper uh, store brand. So this week, I bought six of these to see how, how many I actually drink at night. And these are a lot cheaper than the other um, brands. Okay, potato chips, eat all the food you have. So today, I'm not cooking tonight because I ate my leftovers. It's on my Instagram. It was the chicken, it was the asparagus soup. It was everything I made last night, which was a lot. Okay, and then if you don't eat it, freeze it. I will give you an example. Here is the zucchini cake I made. I will eat it. Okay. Uh, all right, now, two people I know that were poor as dirt, being good Samaritans, let people in their house and got bed bugs. Out here, bed bugs are a thousand dollars. So just one, one, I know she met up with the people in the park. And the other one was people that he met at church. And they said they got the bed bugs from the um, trolley, which I wouldn't doubt. Okay, so um, uh, don't be too much of a good Samaritan when you're poor yourself. Because then, okay, both of the people that I know, the one ended up really kind of not um, being able to live where we were living there and it was real bad because he had six kids. So don't make a habit of letting people you don't know that well in your house. For another thing, it's just not a good idea these days. You can meet up with them like the people that I was trying to help, we would go out for a bite to eat and the, I can think of one and, and we got out there and we were trying to have a hamburger and she went a little bit psycho. So no, or I've had them, how would you, I like a roommate and they can't get it out of their minds, you know, so don't let people in your house. Don't lend them money. If you want to give them money, that's a bad idea. Just don't lend money. It's not a good idea.
conserve utilities. Gasoline was $5.70 a gallon. So conserve it all. Okay. Every single week buy one or two items. So today I bought four shelf stable milks and four um, evaporated milks. And I'll go into that in a minute. But that's like one per week. I like to stockpile that. Then I bought uh, two of these boxes. They don't always have these at Dollar Tree. Uh, they didn't have a good selection of um, crackers, but they did have these. So I bought two because I eat, I eat sandwiches. I bought sandwiches at Dollar Tree and I eat soup sometimes. And then with the milk, you know, I eat oatmeal. Okay, so um, buy one or two items on sale when finances permit. And if you start being really thrifty, you know, and you see some good deal, that Walmart tuna I had the other day was great. All right. Uh, another thing I think is buying your food once a week is safer Okay, I did the food pantry, and that, sh that was just about a week's worth of food. So back to at the beginning of the month, you have like 200 extra dollars, and you go and you buy $200 worth of food, not leaving yourself a dollar. And maybe uh, one of the ladies was saying everything is more expensive when people get their welfare and EBT, and I thought, yeah, that's really true. Okay, um, also at Grocery Outlet, if you spend $25, you get $5 free. But if you spend your $200, you're not getting, you know, you're not giving, getting, uh, let's see, $40. No, so, you know, $25. Find cheap meals you like, like the $1.25 sandwiches or the Walmart, or the, um, or the, um, McDonald's sandwiches. I think they were in the other freezer. I bought burritos and chicken sandwiches, hamburgers, you know, anything like that. So I like that uh, with soup and crackers. So uh, when I found these meals, like the oatmeal, which was a quarter cup oatmeal, a quarter cup half raisins, half nuts, and a quarter cup um powdered milk and two cups um water and a microwave it i'm not hungry for hours when i eat these sandwiches and i was given a lot of sandwiches when i accepted all freebies i'm not hungry for hours and then i have my crackers my peanut butter my cheese that's all stuff that's cheap that i like to eat also fry bread and tea Okay, uh, back to a dumpster dive. They left a three-tier planter. It's in my backyard. I'm thinking about putting some strawberry plants in there. And I want to go back to my swap meat business. I stopped because of the COVID and my eBay business. Okay, um, another thing is if, like, say if down the months or so, I want to get rid of these sweaters, I used to sell them for $1, but now I would sell them for $2 each or three for five because it costs more to get in. Okay, now let me give you seven cheap meats. So if you know these cheap meats, you buy these first, you go, I don't like cheap meat. You will, if you don't have any uh, food, you're gonna find ways to cook them that you like. This is really important to do to teach your kids. Bologna, hot dogs, pork sausages, uh, you know, the cabalsa sausages. I like the sausages from Dollar Tree. That's two meals. Chorizo, eggs, and tuna. And then if you have potatoes and rice, you're going to be able to make some food. My grandmother always used to say, start with the meat. I think that's a good, buy your meat and then go to the pantry. Okay, 29, do your own beauty services, buy cheap beauty products. 
Uh, one of the things that's on my list is hairspray. I'm always running out of that. And I went to the food pantry last week and I got two little bars of soap. These are uh, little bars, but um, I'll show you. Except all freebies. Uh, one of the things uh, that is an issue is when people start getting broke, they get very, uh, they start running out of everything, detergent, dish soap, everything. All right, uh, buy. So find the thrift store that has the half price, like green tags, whatever. Uh, two coats, three sweaters. I buy two flats and two bo uh, boots twice a year and two purses. But last year I bought a, a bunch of purses, so I'm good on purses for a while. And then three jeans. So um, I would buy three jeans and five shirts. Okay, uh, make use of all your citrus. Make juice. Okay, uh, you guys saw me. I've been drinking this, but this is a lot. This is grapefruit that I made out of two grapefruit juice that I made out of two grapefruits out of my son's yard. And uh, what I did was I put I put all of the grapefruit, the the everything on the inside. I just like scooped it all out. I put it in the blender. And I blended it and blended it and with one cup water. And then I added five cups of water. So what I'm doing is I'm just drinking it down. I gave uh, this guy I know uh, the four tangerines that I got at the food pantry. I try to drink one cup. I'm not big on eating fruit, but I do like uh, grapefruit juice. So I'm trying to eat one cup, drink one cup a day. So out of two grapefruits, I ended up with six cups of grapefruit juice. And so you might go be thinking to yourself, well, I don't like my grapefruit juice that way. I like to squeeze it. I go, okay, you're going to have like three quarters of a cup of grapefruit juice. Or do you want to be reasonable? Do you want to be cheap or do you not? <laughs> okay. Um... And from now on, I will make candied um, citrus peels. You just cut them in strips, boil them with some sugar, and then when they're soft, take them and put them in the, um, the oven at 250, and I made some delicious cookies. Also, I made uh, jam out of my uh, tangerines. I did it the same way I did my grapefruit juice. I mean, I just scooped everything out, and I put it in a pan with some sugar. Okay, now learn to make refrigerator pickles. I made pickles out of the one zucchini and I made zucchini bread out of the other one. And also uh, today they had apples at, um, at Smart and Fino, but I said since you're going to the food pantry, you don't really need fruit this week. Okay, now select food in jars, and then you have the jar. Where is the jar? What is the example of the jar? I don't know where the example of the jar is. I'll show you if I happen to find it. Oh, here it is. This was actually um, some pickled uh, vegetables, but this is a nice big jar, and I could make some pickled vegetables myself. So save the jars like... If the, if the item in a jar is a little bit more, just buy the one with the jar. And, and then this is one thing that's by made me really crazy is the jars and the packages. But look at these little, this is my meat thing and this is some little cups I had. Okay. Save boxes. Okay, this is another crazy making thing, but it's really kind of like a good thing. So uh, these toys are going to my granddaughter, and I had a little box. Out here, people just, this is the weirdest thing. The, I love it the best when they throw diaper boxes. They just throw it to the side, and I got this in the Target parking lot. 
And also, you know, um, this month I bought my granddaughter some really nice toys at the thrift store, and those are some good toys she can have fun with that I bought at Dollar Tree because they have these little friends that come over and they have so much fun. Okay, uh, now, so say boxes. Think about medical, dental, and eye care. Okay, here we have a medical uh, clinic. So when I was a nurse, I was a nursing student, you know, we had to go in and get these blood tests and we were all so broke. And the nurse said to me, are you a high risk uh, patient? And I go, what does that mean? Like unprotected sex, uh, drug addict? And I go, no. And he said, are you, are you a high risk patient? And I said, no. And he goes, are you a high risk patient? And I said, yes. And he said, okay, you don't have to pay for any of your, your tests. So remember that. I mean, or what? Do you want to pay? Uh, California is liberal anyway, but, you know, just keep that in mind. Dental. Okay, here we can go to Mexico, or you could go to dental, dental uh, colleges. But we found some kind of cheap dental, so that is awesome. I just have to go. Eye care is also pretty cheap here when you're a senior, but you can also go to Mexico for that. Don't flush. Now, this is something my aunt used to do this when she was old, and I used to think it was crazy. But now that I'm old, I understand. Don't flush toilet paper and junk down your toilet. Just flush, you know, number one and number two. And you're going to save, you're not never going to have, like, around me, they're always having repairmen, you know, plumbers. I have nothing. I am very careful. I don't want to wreck my house. I don't want to pay for repairs. All right, now, pour boiling water down drains. So if you, it'll keep your drains clear. So if you were like making yogurt and you have that water, reheat it and throw it down the bathroom uh I mean, not boiling to wreck your drains, but hot to keep them clear. Uh, okay, use every last bit. So, you know, they know that no one's going to do this. But what I do, see, there's some left in here. So what I do is I throw these in a big box, and then when I'm in the mood, I cut them open, and I got about a couple days in there, maybe more. Use the last bit. <laughs> Make a list of the things you run out of and buy a big one. So I started doing that. And so when you have the list, then you have it in your mind. Okay. Um, a large block or bag of cheese, a large bag of powdered milk, a large bag of walnuts or pecans, a large bag of oatmeal, a large bag of raisins, a large bag of flour, salt, baking powder, yeast, and salt. Okay, when you first start and you don't have that much money, just buy one from the Dollar Tree. Six bags of cookies, six boxes of crackers, dish soap, laundry detergent. That's why when I saw the laundry detergent for 75 cents, large bottles of oil and toilet paper. To this day, I don't have the toilet paper under control. I am working on that. Uh, and there's no such thing as good deals on toilet paper. Wash your sponges. So you might go, that is, that is just crazy, Rhoda. Now you're just getting crazy, okay? Here's one. What I do is I just go like this with some soap and some water and I rinse them off. And then I just throw them in the washer. So I don't have to constantly be buying. I still have to buy them, but not as frequently. Wash your sponges. Okay, keep your eye out at thrift store for kitchen cutlery, uh, like iced teaspoons. Why are iced teaspoons? I use iced teaspoons all the time. Uh, whisk and large spoons, especially large spoons. You can never have too many. All right. 
veggie meals are cheap. Like, uh, I keep saying I'm going to make it, and I have all the stuff in there. Seven, uh, seven layer bean dip. So I'm trying to find some vegetarian meals and chips, French toast or pancakes and eggs, salads, chili with no meat, enchiladas with olives, peanut butter. You make your homemade peanut butter and just make peanut butter sandwiches. Like I got a uh, whole wheat. What are those things called? Um, These healthy grain, uh, I am trying to buy these all the time now because if you eat these, you don't get hungry. Multi-grain foods. You eat one and it's not like regular uh, bread. You're just not hungry. With homemade peanut butter pasta salad. Uh, the one way to make pasta salad is uh, pasta, frozen vegetables, you cook them, and Italian dressing. If you have olives, tomatoes, cucumbers, chickpeas, that's good too. And so uh, those, those are a good uh, veggie meal, okay? Learn nut milk, soy milk, oat milk, and rice milk. Okay, now the next uh, special occasion is 4th of July. So good things are uh, macaroni salad, uh, macaroni and cheese, hot dogs, hamburgers, and watermelon. Okay, I'm going to be picking up a watermelon jello and apple pie and ice cream. Okay, I have apple pie filling in there, so I'm going to next time I see it, I'm going to grab it. So it's out, it's ready to go. I have my uh, watermelon jello. So okay, now. Number 43, wash large, large loads of clothes. Okay, now, I don't let my gym clothes get dirty because when I was a nurse, I learned put your stuff straight into the uh, washer. In fact, take it off in the garage. And the gyms are really filthy too. But if you should get your clothes filthy, throw them in the bathtub and let them soak. Like, did you guys see what I soaked off my chicken last night? That was disgusting. So then you just wash 90% of the dirt out and you can hang them up and wear them again or you can throw them in the washer in a big load because your clothes are not heavily soiled. Okay, find cheap hobbies like flower arrangements. You see my flower arrangements. Um, candles, I love at the thrift store. I get the good ones. Holiday decor and fashion. So $3.50, you can get a new blouse, new pants. Uh, one of my uh, neighbors gave me those Kafkin things. I love those. I don't know what happened to them. Um, also uh, gardening uh, last year, I threw these lovely plants. These have pretty uh, orange flowers on them, and I threw them in the corner. I had like a compost, and they didn't die, so I just took them out, and I put them in these uh, containers, and I have rocks that, oh, well, you think the dirt was bad. I hauled these big rocks, and I will put my plants, and they're going to flower, and they're going to be very, very pretty. Okay, uh... All right, so find cheap hobbies. Okay, this is a good one. Okay, you might be saying, I don't like leftovers. I, I can't say I like them either, but I make myself eat them. And since I have been doing that, I'm to the point where I don't really mind eating them that much. A lot of times I eat uh, leftovers in the middle of the night. I had a container. Do I have this container to show you? No, I don't. But anyway, and I had goulash. It, it holds about a cup. It was the perfect amount. Okay. Wa okay, so it's Friday night. You're going, okay, I know better than to spend money. A Walmart pizza is $4. Walmart soda. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree chips and homemade dip with your homemade sour cream and onion soup. 
you know, be smart, conserve your money until Monday, and then reevaluate and say, well, maybe I can eat food I have in the freezer just a little bit longer, just like being cheap a little bit longer, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, go, well, maybe I will buy a little something, but do I have food I could get by on? Okay, now, bagels and cream cheese. So I got a bunch of bagels. So I have homemade uh, cream cheese. Okay, now this is really key, and I keep harping on this, but if you guys start this, you're going to be so glad. Garden, indoor or outdoor. Now, my brother started me on this. He has an antique store, and he put artificial flowers in front of it purple so i copied him and it was so cheery and it looks so beautiful okay so now it can be artificial plants so in my patio i want to like create a habitat but it could be uh i have a bay window it could be a balcony it could be the living room with a bunch of house plants okay um now i want to show you what happened in just like one day Look at all the new leaves my um, mint sprouted. And so what happens is if you plant these and if the bugs don't get them, these are huge plants. And so then you can dehydrate your, your mint and you're, you'll have tea no matter what. Okay, now this, I was talking to this guy at the gym and I said, you know what is I didn't do when I was young? I didn't pursue nice places. I just like, I lived in this horrible place in a horrible area, but I was telling him I did work in nice places. So I worked in Point Loma down by the beach and there's a great German restaurant down there. Alpine is really pretty with a lot of nice people. It's like, even where I live, there's trees, the lanes are wider. Um, so, you know, find nice places. Okay, now, uh, 49 is knockoffs and dupes. So, I pursue them. Purses, even on the decor, you can, you know, do these searches and copy the stuff you like. Uh, Timu, Sheen, and, uh, you know, just like, uh, they're saying, like, the creators on YouTube, those are all dupes and they just keep you at a distance and you never know the difference. Okay, now another thing I started doing was, um, oh, I wanted to mention this. Now these come in, this is strawberry, but these come in, I bought four of flavors of these, but I will try to get some of these for the 4th of July. These were $1.25 for six and kids would love these. And I wanted to mention, I this was 19 uh, ketchups that I had from getting my free fries. And then here are my bags and my napkins from uh, McDonald's and my bags. You can see why I'm going crazy. I go, no, you are going to get in the way and you are going to save money no matter what. Also, uh, I bought these sometime because I stocked up on different vitamins and stuff. Okay, so now number 50 is books. So, okay, my son and I were talking, what a difference it's gonna make if you uh, read like for an hour. And sometimes I listen to audio books, but the, I was gonna sell this until I, um, I spilled grease on it. So I guess I'm gonna keep it, but it has the best things in here. Oh God, I am made for love and cannot assimilate hate. Help me to give up on my, up on my hates before they get me down, amen. Okay, so like what can't we assimilate our arsenic? So try to keep that in mind. It's gonna, you know, some people, I'm not trying to be rude, but they are hateable. So what you say is, okay, I just can, you're like poison to me, this, this is not working instead of letting them drive you crazy okay now I, this oh this was the greatest book i bought 
And so I found, uh, oh, I found mayonnaise in here. Okay, you need one egg yolk beaten, one cup olive oil, two a tablespoon boiling distilled, distilled water, uh, one quarter teaspoon, uh, they use vegetized salt, uh, one quarter teaspoon paprika, and two tablespoons lemon juice. So everything we have. Uh, two egg yolk, add salt, paprika, and lemon juice beating with a rotary beater until well blended. Add one teaspoon of olive oil at a time, beating well after each addition until the entire cup has been added. Then heat the boiling water. Then heat, beat in the boiling water one tablespoon at a time. If all of the dressing is not used immediately, cover the rest and set in a cool place. So learning how to make mayonnaise, learning how to make butter is very, very important. And the vegetarians, the vegetarian way is, uh, and then now these are expensive, but I am trying to learn to do this. I have two pressure canners. These were $22.95, uh, and I got this for like $2, but I could sell it, but I, I don't want to sell it because I want to do it. All right, back to the, I want to talk to you about this um, special occasion cake that tastes like bakery cake, and it really does. Add one to two more eggs, use melted butter instead of oil, Instead of water, add whole milk and do not over bake. That is going to give you some really good cook cupcakes or cakes. So once you learn this stuff, you know, the bakery cakes are expensive. But we're saving money, so hey, that's just not going to fly. Okay. Um... All right, I got a video. Okay, now, um, okay, when you go to the food pantry, some of them don't give you that much milk or, or meat, so you might be thinking, what's going on here? But you can get by on a pescatarian diet. Pesca is fish, terian is vegetarian. Fruit, vegetables, nuts or seeds, and whole grain. So you need some nuts and you need some fish for a complete amino acid. Beans, eggs, and dairy. So a lot of us don't like to eat beans that much because of mercury, but maybe um, once, once a week or three times a month. Okay, now I got a good video. Oh, and the whole grains are brown rice, barley, oats, corn, and rye. Okay, I got a good video for you. It's so Feature Man. I also follow, still to this day, follow Pink Fairy. Uh, this is a new channel, but a good channel. One day at a time on a budget. So I like her because she's down to earth. And uh, she went to the food pantry. She got a carton of eggs, uh, some cheese sticks. So we have eggs, we have cheese, like the dairy. Uh, one half pie, that was awesome. Three vegetables, she got a bag of salad, two onions and five tomatoes. A carb, she got three potatoes. Then back to the dairy, one half gallon of milk, one pound of hamburger and one pound of bacon. So that gives you an idea, like if you follow these pantry meals, how you can get by. So she had three dairy and two meat. So you only go seven days. So let me give one day at a time on a budget. Uh, go check her out because if you're my follower, you really like her. And uh, she also cooks on her. Um, I have a lot of new followers, so some of this is redundant. But it never hurts to bear it in mind. Okay, now today I spent money because I had to buy gas. But tomorrow, I'm not spending any money. So every other day, I'm not spending any money. Unless it's emergency. Um, now, 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tomorrow's Friday. Try not to cash your paycheck. Try to make it until Monday if you can. Then you're three days into the week and you have all of your money. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday say, okay, can I possibly, you know, maybe buy just a little extra food this week? And so that's six days into the week. And usually we have more food than you think. Yeah, it might not be that pleasant, but it's not, it's not as bad is running out of money it's better to be cheap and you know not miserably cheap but well cheap and then that gives you a free day on thursday so the free day instead of the free day starting on friday and ending on uh, sunday your free day would be thursday if you want to take one uh since you've been following me i think i bought uh one torpedo sandwich and it was so good too it was like $10, and then I went to the yogurt place, and I got a big yogurt, and that was like $10. But rarely do I do that because I don't like running out of money. Okay, so go to the food pantry, stockpile meat, eat cheap meat, and buy cheese. Now, why? Because of a price spike. Gas is $5.70. Supply chain disruption, grid down, or some kind of rationing. So if you have a little food, or let's say if there's a run on the food pantry, then you know you can skip a week or two. All right, you guys, I'll see you next, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.